If you're looking to build your team, make sure you head on over to CheapMaddenCoins.com for the cheapest prices, fast delivery, and 24-hour customer support. And make sure to use Code Wolf for 10% off. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. Now, I'm going to show you guys a play that I actually used from another set from the Jets playbook, which is also found in the Jets playbook. And it's pretty much the same play. Now, I've shown you guys from the single back wing pair, the PA X burst cross. This play is one of my favorite in the game. But in this formation, we're gonna throw the same play from a different look out of the single back ace. Now, before we get into it, man, drop a like on the video, subscribe to my channel for more content. And let's get into this one right here, the PAX burst cross from the single back ace. I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up. And we're just gonna go through the basic coverages, man. I'm not gonna waste your time, uh, you know, on random defense because we're gonna get man up three deep. Then we're gonna get goal line and it's just, it's not realistic. So we're gonna go ahead and just pick like cover two press right here. And this is how I'm gonna set it up. I'm just gonna take Y, put him on a streak, and take X and put him on an end route, just like that. Now, since there's only one receiver to the right of the screen running a route, chances are your receiver will be manned up in cover two defense, okay? So it's important that you put your fastest receiver to the right side of the field. So there, I have Butler, he's the fastest, because if not, it would be Terrence Williams. Anyway, when I snap the ball looking to the flat, I'm watching the corner. I'm not even worried about the rest of the play. I'm looking at that corner on the left side of the screen. Is he gonna stay in a hard flat? Is he gonna back up into a cloud? Okay, that's gonna determine whether I throw the flat or I throw this crossing route. Now you can make adjustments, just to let you guys know. I actually could beat him right over here to the flat. You can make adjustments to throw the user off. So, like I said, as long as you have the flood concept, you have something that's actually uh, flooding the left side of the field. So you want a streak. So you wanna take X, you wanna put him on a streak. That's going to stretch out the secondary. Then what you can do, if you want to throw off the user, you can leave Y where he's at. You can leave him right there. It doesn't matter. As long as you have the flat route and you have the crossing route with the stretch, you have yourself a nice little, uh, your own made up flood concept to the left side of the field. Now the crossing route may bait the user and give you enough time to throw the crossing route over the field. But like we said, we're still reading the corner. We're not worried about the user. We're reading the corner. And if I got to get four or five yards, I am. But I know just by running against this defense that I can throw I can actually throw that crossing route. So here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that crossing route because I know I can get away with it. Uh, remember, just if the user picks up on the crossing route, you need to be very careful. Do what you want with the wide route after. You can bait the user however you want to do it, man. But just keep keep it the same. And right here is what I'm trying to tell you guys is you can actually throw that crossing route in a cover two press. So let's go ahead and talk about cover three defense. Okay, we're gonna go against cover three sky press. Now in the previous play, I showed you guys cover two. Cover two hard flats is guaranteed crossing route's gonna be open in a cover two hard flat. So I'm not gonna waste your guys' time with that. You guys should know by now how that works. Now we're gonna do the setup the same way. Y on a streak, X on an end route if you wanna do that. Why I set it up this way, you know, by default is because if the user picks up Butler on that crossing route, then Bryant is going to be in one of the weak spots of that zone where that user should be. So I could dump it off to him very easily if I need to check down to him. And that is the whole point because advanced users aren't going to let you get away with some of the crossing routes that you're seeing right here. So you need to occupy the spice, the space, the spice. You need to occupy the space that they were in. So if he's a middle linebacker user, send something to the middle because he's not going to stay there for the most part if he does stay there then he's opening up our flood concept which is our you know our streak our flat and our crossing route so let's go ahead and snap the ball we're still watching the left side of that field over here he stays with it and the thing with cover three defense and i don't know if you guys known this yet but cover three defense crossing routes kill most cover three defenses i'm telling you guys right now crossing routes are the cover three killer so if you're having a hard time with cover three defense you need to find you a bunch of plays with some good crossing routes create your own flood concept and stuff like that and try to throw those so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys again we're going to streak the y route bring the x route in just in case the middle linebacker user or any of the linebacker users try to pick up that crossing route if they do pick up that crossing route he's going to be open in one of the weak spots of that zone defense guaranteed so here we go again he drops down and there it is. So let's go ahead and pick another cover three defense so you guys can see that cover three really can't stop crossing routes. Cover three cloud, let's just try that. You know, it's worth a shot, right? Y on a streak, X on an end route. That's our look right there. X is our bailout route. 
for a user if it's a d-line user then the flood concepts is going to be open all the time to to whoever you you know whoever's open so he stays down again and like i said in cover three defense crossing routes destroy a lot if not most of the cover three defense because of the way it's set up so now let's talk about cover four defense now in cover four because of the crossing around how long it takes to develop the actual crossing route will get open in the weak spot of the cover four shell he'll be right underneath it if they play hard flats in cover four then you're going to hit the crossing route if they don't and they put him in actual clouds then your flat's going to be open but right here it's a stock cover four they should drop down to him and yes they do and then you have right here what's going to be open underneath the cover four shell so against cover four you can already see uh what this play does now remember Again, our X route is our in route that's going to bail us out if the user picks up the crossing route. So if the user picks up the crossing route, we have the X route. Now in single back wing pair, I run my in route with the crossing route and then I'll motion him out. That way, if they pick up the crossing route, then they leave the middle of the field open for my in route. So the, the user is going to have to pick and choose. Is he going to try to try to bait you, try to pick up the crossing route and then jump down to the in route? Or is he going to uh, sacrifice the in route? Me personally, I'll stay with the crossing route and sacrifice the in route and then try to make adjustments according to that later, you know, as, as time goes on. But you'll notice right here, right in the cover four shell, this play gets open. It's going to be like that pretty much for every defense. It's the same read, same concept. It's it's a flood concept. Very easy to read. Very easy to, uh, to what, do you, what do you say, to execute. So there it is, man. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And I'll probably try to find another play out of this set, but you guys got two plays out of the single back ace that you can start using along with the run plays that are already built inside the playbook. Thank you guys all the next one, man. Peace.